on your side tonight continues now. Good evening and thanks for staying with us here at 730. A lot can change in a relatively short amount of time. In just the past four years, the tone and vibe of a place here in Charlotte has undergone a dramatic shift. Let's wind the clocks back to four years ago, February 2019. Uptown Charlotte hosted the NBA All-Star Game. The city was alive with activity, vibrant with visitors, atmosphere and things to do. Few places more than the entertainment hotspot known as the epicenter. We're still encouraging fans to come down and based on capacity, anyone who walks up, if we're able to um, invite more people into the space, we certainly want to do that and accommodate as many people as we can. So it's the attraction for the, for the city, a nice, neat, cool place to hang out. Remember those days found along East Trade Street in Uptown, the epicenter felt like the place to be since opening in 2008. Crowds flocked for sports watch parties, St. Patrick's Day, and nightlife. But over time, the popularity of the site faded. Slammed by the COVID-19 pandemic, business around the epicenter slowed to a crawl, just as crime intensified. The center, which has 50 tenant spaces, reached roughly 70% vacancy. Charlotte's once bustling hotspot for nightlife became a ghost town. Everything closed down. Ain't no restaurant in there where you can eat at. It's sad how the city of Charlotte going down since the COVID. It's really, really sad. But as time marched on, change brought the chance for a new chapter. New ownership now has the reins, renaming the site from the epicenter to Queen City Quarter. 210 East Trade Street Holdings is now the property owner and hopes to revive the site as a family friendly destination. And just this week, we've learned more about the upcoming attractions that hope to bring back the life the site once had. And it would be a space for people to come and congregate, not just for coffee during the day on your way to work, but also after work, you can come and enjoy like small plates and cocktails. Four new tenants have been announced coming to Queen City Corner. They include Portal 123, described as a rotating Instagram museum and immersive art experience. There's Nostalgia Hollow Company, a coffee and home goods shop. Cajun Market, a fast casual Cajun Creole restaurant. And finally, Super Icy Brothers, known for its alcohol infused Italian ice. On Your Side Tonight has been closely following this chronicle from the foreclosure of the epicenter to the announcement of Queen City Quarter. Last September, we spoke with Managing Director Compi Newman on the future of the site and why not all hope is lost for a resurgence in uptown business. As we look at this place, we look at the location, right? In real estate, location is everything. You are right in the heart of a vibrant uptown Charlotte, yet this place has struggled. How do you explain it? You know, it, uh, probably a number of factors have gone into that, but like you said, we got the Spectrum Marina and the Ritz and the Bank of America headquarters nearby, our offices next door. Um, properties can go through cycles for a number of reasons, but um, this one declined over the years and it's only 30% leased right now. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna dwell too much on the past. We're looking to the future. Yeah of what, like you said, this location can do potentially. Are there some lessons learned though from what has happened here that has sort of shaped what you want to do with this property going forward? Absolutely. Security is paramount. We've added a bunch of security cameras uh, that are going to help. We've got a great security staff. We've had multiple meetings with Center City Partners, the police, and um, uh, the city. Mm -hmm. And there's a commitment to uh, make this area secure. So um, we've seen great strides in the last couple of weeks, and we think it's only going to get better. And when we activate this place and there are more people here, mm -hmm. that will change the feel of the property. So now the plan moves forward. So can the vision for Queen City Quarter meet reality and offer visitors a more fulfilling experience? Today, our Lowell Rowe spoke with James Labar, Senior Vice President of Economic Development of Charlotte Center City Partners on the plan ahead. There's 30,000 residents that live in Uptown, so it's not too surprising that uh, a, a place like Queen City Quarter surrounded by all that, and then you got the Spectrum Center and the future plans of that, that businesses would be coming back. Is it great that there's three of them? We're stoked about that. And again, about all the other new businesses that are coming up into Uptown. 
So each one of these assets that we have in Uptown and South End, if they've been built for a while, at some point in time, they're gonna be need to be repositioned, right? There's gonna be investments needed. And here at Queen City Quarter, they're, they're gonna work on new flooring, new facades, and those types of improvements. So those types of investments for a property to still be attractive, right, to visitors, customers, residents, and everyone that works in Uptown is really important. Whether you're an office building or a retail establishment. Queen City Quarter is a jewel right now and it will be even more and, and I think one of the main reasons why it's such a great asset right now is because of all the things that are around it again spectrum center light rail and all the small retail that it, that encompasses it all the people that are coming in to uptown and south end to work right makes it a natural place for small businesses to thrive and the investments that CBR are putting into it are great Revitalizing the site could be a major boost for the health of Uptown. It's in a prime location near the light rail, also the Spectrum Center. CBRE is starting renovations to the property in the plaza later this spring.